everyone, it's Alice and today we're gonna do a book haul and I'm gonna show you some books that I got in July. Now I have actually done another book haul this month. I did a video where I showed you some bookshops in Oslo and I showed you the books that I got in said bookshops and if you haven't seen that I will leave a link to it somewhere where you can find it. Moving on to today's stack of books though, first I picked up two poetry books and the first one is a poem for every summer day and this is edited by Ali Asiri and this is you've probably seen the other ones of this around like there's one for every season and the whole point is that you get to read a couple of poems every day for the summer months and this is the final one I think I have all four now actually so autumn spring summer and winter and I just find them really beautiful. I think the design of these books are immaculate and I don't know I just had to like get them all because they're so beautiful and I do love poetry and I like reading poetry from like several different authors even though those kinds of collections are always like mixed bags. I generally really like them. Secondly, I got The Hill We Climb by Amanda Gorman and I feel like most of us will be familiar with this. This is the poem that she read at Joe Biden's inauguration and I remember watching that and just being blown away and I've seen that video maybe like 40 times since then because I just think it's so good and I just wanted to have this in like physical format. And I gotta say I'm really excited to see what else Gorman writes or comes out with in the future because this was amazing. Moving on to fiction, I got a book that I'm very excited about and it is The Maidens by Alex Michaelitis. And I'm just so looking forward to this book because it just sounds right up my alley. It's about this Greek professor at Cambridge University who is loved by all like students and colleagues alike and he's especially loved by this secret society, it's like a female secret society called The Maidens which sounds amazing, but I think one of his former students is convinced that this guy is actually not that great. He's actually a murderer. And that's all I really know and kind of all I want to know before I go into this. I have heard kind of mixed things about this and the complaint that I've seen the most is that this is kind of slow, which I actually don't mind because I very often enjoy slow books. So I still have very high hopes for this book. It does feel like a very fall appropriate read to me, although that might just be me who's looking forward to fall. I don't know about any of you, but I am so over <laughs> summer right now, so I can't wait. <laughs> Another book I feel like is gonna be really good to read for fall is Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia and this is another book that I've seen around a lot and heard great things about. It's historical fiction and it's set in the Mexican countryside, I think, where this woman goes to this house because she has gotten a letter from her cousin saying that she needs help. And what intrigues me about this is that I've heard that the house in this book is kind of like creepy and there's obviously like something weird going on, which sounds amazing. I love a good story set in like a creepy house. And I feel like this is gonna get quite dark which I'm into. This author also has another book coming out later this year, I think, which looks very intriguing. And I just thought I would maybe like read this first and see what I think. Then I picked up a book I'm pretty sure someone recommended to me, but I don't remember who or where I got that recommendation from, but it is Sharks in the Time of Saviors by Kavai Strong Washburn. And this is magical realism which is great because I used to read loads of magical realism and then I just for some reason kind of stopped picking up those types of books, but I used to love them. So I'm intrigued to read this and see how it is. It's set in Hawaii in 1995, I think, and it's about this family that goes out on a boat and one of the kids fall overboard and there are like sharks in the water, so everyone thinks that it's not gonna go well, but then one of the sharks gets the kid and then brings the kid back to the kid's mother. Which sounds so weird, but very intriguing. And I feel like I've read somewhere that there is like some supernatural stuff going on in this as well. And it just sounds really odd, but also really good. Next, I got 
this book, which is House Apollo by Crystal Sutherland. And I'm not gonna lie, this cover is doing a lot for me. Like, it's so beautiful, but also creepy. And this sounds great. It's a horror novel. And it's about this young woman who has always been kind of weird. And something happened to her and her sisters when they were growing up that they can't really quite remember. But this experience has like shaped them in some way. And then I think one of the sisters goes missing. And this young woman that we're following, she starts like experiencing all of these weird things. Like she sees men with horns and she like sees corpses in her house or something. And it just sounds real weird. And just like Mexican Gothic, it sounds kind of like dark and perfect for fall. Another beautiful book we've got today is Lonely Castle in the Mirror by Misuki Sujimura. And this sounds amazing. It's been recommended to me a lot, which is why I got it. And I also got it because it looks like this and because it's a translated book. It's set in Japan, I think, and it's about these seven students who find a portal into another world and they find a castle there and they're asked to find the key to the castle, I think, and if they can do that, they'll be granted a wish. But then there's also something else in this world that I think wants to eat them or something, which maybe is not as fun, but I mean, castles in other dimensions sounds pretty cool at least to me also like i mentioned this cover is just beautiful and i think that this book design is amazing and it's one of those books that just like feels really good and i love the color and it has french flaps and on the back here there's this little castle and it says in another world we were already friends so i am no longer alone Next, I finally got around to getting a copy of Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell. And I first heard about this book when it was on the Women's Prize for Fiction long list a couple of years ago. And I couldn't figure out if I wanted to read this book or not because I read the synopsis and I couldn't really like figure out if it was for me. But then it ended up winning. And also people recommend this book to me all the time. So I got it and I'm gonna try it out. It's historical fiction. And I haven't really looked into it that much. I just know that it has something to do with Shakespeare. And I think the story is told from the perspective of Shakespeare's wife, Agnes. And there's something about their son whose name is Hamnet, which I'm assuming has something to do with Hamlet, which is the play. Honestly, I don't really know, but I do enjoy historical fiction and people say this is absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna give it a go. Then we have got a mystery thriller, and it is Tall Bones by Anna Bailey. And this is about these two 17-year-old girls who go to a party in the woods, and they're at that point in their lives where you just feel like everything is about to start, like your life is about to begin. But then one of the girls goes missing, and this cracks this small town that the girls are from, into pieces and you all know I love a good small town mystery and it says on the cover here in a town full of secrets it's hard to tell where the truth lies and I just feel like a party in the woods could be kind of like fun but also creepy and I'm assuming this has some sort of like religious tones to it because it has a church on the cover but yeah we'll see I'm intrigued. Another thrillery type book I got is Relic by Preston and Child. And this was recommended to me in a comment, I think, and it sounds great. It's set in New York and it's about this exhibition that is about to open at the Natural History Museum, I think. And just days before this exhibition opens, people who are visiting the museum are like being savagely murdered and like, secret rooms and dark hallways and it turns out that what is killing them might not be entirely human which sounds amazing i think this is going to be like slightly supernatural i don't really know and kind of like horror ish and it sounds very exciting and i feel like there's not enough books set in museums so 
I'm really excited about that. Lastly, I've got two books that were sent to me by the publishers, and the first one is The Secret Life of Writers by Guillaume Musso. And this is again a thriller, and it sounds really good. It's about this writer who writes like three cult novels, and they're really popular, but then he just suddenly retires to this island and doesn't really speak to anyone for like 20 years. And then this journalist is like intrigued about what happened to him, so she goes to this island, and the day she arrives, a woman's body washes up on the beach. How all of these things tie together, I have no idea, but I'm very excited to find out. And this book is translated from French, which is really cool. It does also say on the back here that for almost a decade, Guillaume Musso has reigned supreme as France's most popular author, and with this, he's instantly poised to join the ranks of Stieg Larsson and Jules Nespe, which is very high praise. Lastly, we've got a nonfiction book, and I'm just realizing I really didn't get a lot of nonfiction this month. There's just this one, and it's Half-Lives by Lucy Jane Santos, and I'm really excited about this book. It's a history book all about radium, which I think is so interesting, like it's such a fascinating topic. If you don't know, in the late 19th century and early 20th century, they discovered radium and they thought that this was like a miracle substance that could do everything. But it's not. It's radioactive and really not good for us. And I just think it's an interesting thing that happened. I also love this cover and I feel like the choice of the green is very appropriate. Okay, everyone, those are all the books that I had to show you today, and I would love to know if you have picked up any exciting new books lately, or if you've read any of the books that I mentioned, what you thought. Although, if you've read The Maidens, please don't spoil it, because I'm, like, really looking forward to that book, and I've been avoiding spoilers, so, like, if you want to talk about it, maybe we should talk about it, like, after I've actually read it, because I think I will read it quite soon, and I might even make a reading vlog about it, actually. Anyways, that was all I had for you today, and as usual, links to my Patreon and other social media will be in the description if you're interested, and I will see you soon. Bye!